Giants fans, another great episode of G1G3 going here. One of my favourite members of the whole entire GWS staff, Simon Cadditch. Thanks for joining us, mate. My pleasure. Cogs, obviously, Simon Cadditch is dear to your heart, mate. It's great to have him on the show. Mm, oh, fantastic to uh, He's been in good form as well, Phil. The boy's been riding his form very closely in the uh, big bash, like BBL03, I think it is, hashtag. Um, mate, how's it all going? Yeah, look, we've had a, a decent start. Um, we still probably haven't quite hit our straps yet uh, as a team, but um, hopefully as, as the tournament progresses, we'll start to do that, probably more so with the bat than anything. Uh, our bowlers have won us a couple of games that we probably shouldn't have won. Um, but the, yeah, the mood around the group's good, uh, but we know there's still plenty of hard work to be done. Cogs, you're a, a very astute cricket mind, mate. Um, what have you found? What are your thoughts on Caddo's series so far with the will in the hand? Um, over the Christmas break, I was actually over in Perth and uh, watched a couple of games um, at the Furnace, as they call it, the Scorchers, and uh, he's been in good form. The one thing I would say is keep Heath Shaw off Twitter. The other night he was flying, got to whatever he was, 30 odd, and um, Heath Shaw's tweeted out calling him to be uh, in the Australian team for the upcoming 2020 tournament. Uh, the next ball he gets out, Phil. So um, if he's short can stay away, then I think the score should go deep. Very fortunate to have Cricket Royals here. We're here joined by Justin Langer. Justin, for joining. thanks for joining us. No, pleasure. It's great to have you guys in our um, team meeting, and it's nice to see you on the cricket field. Yeah, no, thank you very much. That was a great uh, little insight into cricket. Um, I'm a bit nervous. I must admit, I'm a massive fan of yours. But obviously, you're not a Giants fan, unfortunately, although you love the Orange. You do look good in Orange, by the way. Yeah, I think, look, we're all we're similar, aren't we? I know, Caddo, you've stolen, you've stolen our uh, skipper off us, so, um, but yeah, look, had Giants have been around when I was a youngster, you just never know, do you? But you're a ch- Obviously, you were telling me before, number one ticket holder for Subiaco, mate, obviously enjoy your football. Yeah, love my footy. Uh, when I was a kid, I was a North supporter, I'm actually a North member, because Brayshaw made me buy a ticket, buy a membership every year, but West Coast are all tragic and uh, and Subiaco supporter, so yeah, love my footy. Obviously being a coach, you get to deal, deal with some different characters, Brad Hogg, one of your favourites? Oh, he's a clown, he, he's a straight up, uh, mate, not only now, the older he gets, the more stupid he gets, and it, actually it's a miracle that we've still got him in the side, because mate, he is as big a clown as you'll ever meet, I reckon. Well, I've got the great Brad Hogg here, another fellow great West Australian. Brad, thanks for uh, coming on the show. Well, the shoe's on the other foot. Now yeah, you can ask yeah, me. I've, I've, I've got the uh, I've got the cooker bar and you've got the shant at the moment. What's going on there? Uh, well, mate, I thought I'd teach you a few lessons and you can teach me a few lessons. What about, what about back in the day? How'd you uh, how'd you go with the old uh, oval shaped ball? Uh, I, I really enjoyed it. I played a bit of bush football down uh, down south for Williams and uh, really enjoyed it. We we're very fortunate that uh, Bearstow, uh, Geelong great, Mark Bearstow, he came back and played for late grace for a year and I was fortunate enough to play against him. Uh, coach said take him and uh, seeing the size of him I said you can take that side of the field, I'll take the other side of the field. So uh, oh, there was no way I was going to play on him. I reckon you'd be a bit of like a Philip Matera type if, uh, if anyone watches out there the West Coast, just a four pocket, sneak a couple of goals. I don't, yeah, no, the Matera's they come from down my way as well so uh, it, it would have been great being uh, in the forward line. I'd class myself more as a Hayden Valentine, a bit of a pest. <laughs> I was talking before mate, the AFL has uh, reduced it from two runners down to one. You're in career best, Nick. How do you think you're going to go if you have to run around by yourself out there in the uh, fluorescent yellow? Well, it depends who you talk to. I think uh, if you ask Alan McConnell about uh, one of our coaches about five weeks ago, he thought I was in serious trouble after my first running session. But after a couple of weeks, I started to get in a bit better, Nick. And hopefully at the end of the Big Bash, I'll be in even better, Nick, in preparation for the NAB Cup. But um, I've got a fair bit of work to do. Uh, I've learned a lot from you guys on the track and how hard you train. So hopefully I can uh, put that into uh, practice on game day. Another episode of G1 and G3 done. You would have thought it was not G1 and G3, but maybe the Bodyline series. Phil, you were all over the shop in the head there. I was absolutely terrified. Boyhood dream, though. I faced Brad Hogg, and he, uh, I think he got me out six times in eight balls, so uh, I was hitting them well. That was, that was the wrong hand to come out, and just he picked it early. Did he bolt, did he? Yeah, I think it was about six times he may have bowled it wrong, and I didn't know it was existed, but he uh, he was pretty generous to me. The last one he just tossed up, and I spooned it down deep with a so. Uh, I, I thought I thought you were a good feeling. Um, there's a couple of people just behind the nets here that were lucky to uh, still have their lives after wanting your shots down the ground. <laughs> yeah, I think I hit the great Craig over Comedy Fair and Square in the shin, so I uh, might own an ice pack after that. So, um, lucky enough to get down here with the Scorchers. Hopefully the Thunder get a win um, soon, Phil. Yeah, hopefully the uh, Thunder get going, mate. We all know what it's like to lose a few games in a row. And Good luck to the Scorchers in our own, Simon Catch. We'll claim Brad Hogg as well. I know he's a, he's a Dockers fan, but I think in, in his deepest heart, he loves the Giants. So. 
Good luck to the Scorchers, to our boys Caddo and Hoggy.